Narcissistic individuals don't believe that they should have to answer to you. They don't believe they should have to answer to anyone due to their personality. Narcissistic people feel entitled to do as they please and they like the empathy to care for how their behaviour impacts those around them. They're not bothered that they hurt your feelings, they're only bothered that they got caught, that they got found out and as they believe that they're entitled to do as they please, they're not interested in how their behaviour could be morally wrong in some way, they're interested in how the judgments of others towards their behaviour could negatively impact them. They don't think anything's wrong with their behaviour, they think something is wrong with your perception of their behaviour. However, you'll often notice with a narcissistic individual is if you treat them how they treat you, they get incredibly offended because to a narcissist, they are the most important person in the room and you should just abide by them. You should just go along with them. However, they don't have to listen to you. They don't have to do things for you. They only do things for you to get something from you, to hold it against you, to get their needs met by you. When it comes to narcissistic individuals, due to their sense of entitlement, due to their belief that they are always right, due to their belief that they don't need to answer to you, they don't need to answer to anyone, it's very difficult to find the right time to ask them a simple question be it, hey, we've been invited here, would you like to come along? What are we doing tonight? What would you like for your tea? If they are that way out, they will go all out to frustrate you and to wind you up by avoiding answering the most simplest of questions, as well as questions that the answer might paint them in a negative light. They often look to frustrate you and wind you up and get you going so that they can shift the blame over to you. So this video is to look at a few ways a narcissistic individual avoids answering a simple question and there are plenty of them so any you notice please do add those into the comments. One of the first ways a narcissist will avoid answering a question is by simply answering your question with a question. Now as we ourselves can do this when we're looking for more clarification, when we're looking for more certainty on what the question that has been asked when we haven't heard, when we've misunderstood the situation or potentially when you're dealing with a narcissistic individual and you know your answer is going to cause you pain in some way so you look for ways to get out of answering the question, you might respond with a question. Narcissistic individuals answer your question with a question because they want to get you explaining and defending yourself to them so that they don't have to defend or explain themselves to you. Another way a narcissist will avoid answering a question is by changing the subject, diverting the topic of conversation. And a narcissistic individual will sometimes change a subject so skillfully that you don't even recognise that you've been diverted onto a different path. So you can start to forget what the original conversation was about. A narcissist will also come at you with unjust accusations so that they can play the victim in the situation. They can start accusing you of attacking them, of not caring about them, of not listening to them. And this can frustrate you because you can stand there and think, hang on a minute, you're the one that's not listening to me as they project out onto you and wind you up and avoid the topic of conversation. And by accusing you of something, not only do they get you on the defensive, but they also play the victim in the situation. So they get you feeling guilty, they get you feeling bad and remorseful for daring to ask them of something. They will come at you with how busy they are right now, so you feel bad. There's no right time to approach somebody who does not want to discuss things with you. 
A narcissist will happily fall silent. They'll stonewall you. They'll go all out to avoid any form of communication. And they do it in a manner of causing you that frustration to try and get you to chase after them to gain the answer or to chase after them to ask what's wrong, to ask if you can help them, which is feeding them that attention that they are so desperately craving from you. A narcissist will happily use the word salad to avoid answering a simple question. Now, this isn't the word salad of a schizophrenic person who will just come at you with incoherent speech and a jumble of words. This is the narcissistic word salad where they will just flip from one topic of conversation to another. So they will flip from asking you a question, changing the subject, accusing you of something, playing the victim. They will suddenly be evasive. They will start gaslighting you and attacking you and they will switch from one to the other so rapidly that you barely have time to deal with one thing they've come out before they're coming at you with another thing. They will triangulate the situation. They will bring a third person into the conversation. They will either compare you to somebody else or claim that somebody else agrees with them. So if you have a difference of opinion, they get offended. They play the victim. They will accuse you of fancying the other person. They will accuse you of not caring about them. They will change the subject. They will bring that word salad in and say, what about when you did this? So you end up totally confused and they get away without answering the most simplest of question. They will be evasive. They will be very vague. They will just, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. Do we have to talk about this now? they will happily gaslight you. And one of the worst things about the narcissist gaslighting is they provoke a feeling within you. So you know you're experiencing that feeling and then they use that feeling against you. So they go all out to make you feel guilty and then they accuse you of not caring about them. They accuse you of being selfish. They accuse you of being difficult. They accuse you of being awkward. They go all out to betray you and then they accuse you of being bitter, which is a natural reaction when someone's betrayed your trust. And it's something that we ourselves have to work through. But a narcissist will use your reactions to their actions against you to make out that there is something wrong with your emotional reactions to distract you from their actions, which are causing those emotional reactions within you. They will go all out to provoke jealousy within you and then accuse you of being jealous. They will cause those trust issues within you and then accuse you of having trust issues. Yet they deny any part that you've played. They deny any role. They will go all out to interrupt you. So you, you can't you can't get your question across to them because they interrupt you and they divert the topic of conversation to what they want it to be. So you can't get your question across. And another way they avoid answering your question is by asking you a question. And then when you try to respond, they interrupt you, usually in a manner where they're playing the victim so that you can't answer their question because they're interrupting you to avoid answering the question that you originally asked them. They will respond with things like sarcasm. They will just turn around and, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were perfect. They will go all out to try and humiliate you in front of an audience to try and mock you, to get people to go along with them. So they feel like they've got that unity when they've just got a bunch of enablers and flying monkeys that are usually also narcissistic or too blind to recognise what the narcissist is doing or simply just naive and like most of us have been naive around a narcissistic individual and we just haven't learned. A narcissist can also avoid answering a question by flying into a rage. They've suffered a narcissistic injury, so they can fly into a rage to try and intimidate you, to threaten you, to shut you down. And they will answer a question by creating an argument 
So they can turn around and say, see, this is why I can never discuss anything with you. See, I told you I didn't want to argue with you. There's no communicating with you as they shift the blame straight over to you. And once they've created the argument and shifted the blame, they disappear on you. They go and lick their wounds with a new supply that's going to validate their version of events that they're feeding to that new supply while punishing you by disappearing on you, by ignoring you, because you naturally care about them. You want to know whether they're okay. You might start chasing them and then they're getting that attention and they're telling everybody that you're the one who is obsessed with them and if you don't chase them you feel bad you question whether they're okay they can hurt you in some of the most horrific ways and you can really want to get them back but there's also that that empathy that compassion within you that still cares about them and still wants to sort of see it from their point of view but they're, they're not coming from the place you're coming from well, you know that you can make mistakes, that we don't always get things right, that you give someone the benefit of the doubt. Narcissistic individuals aren't coming from that place. When you're serving them, you're all good and they will shower you with that attention, affection and support. And more often than not, it's, it's not love, it's excitement on the narcissist's part because they're getting the supply that they need. Yeah, as soon as you dare to say no to them as soon as you question them about something as soon as you question their sense of entitlement as soon as you call them out on something they receive that narcissistic injury they get offended they see you as all bad they see you as turning against them and they often go all out to punish you by shacking up with somebody new so that they can get one over on you when it comes to a narcissist, they usually have a multitude of players within their games. So a narcissistic parent might be love bombing a new partner while devaluing and discarding their children. And when their new partner isn't serving them, they will drop the new partner, devalue and discard them and love bomb their children back in again. They go all out to triangulate people, to play people off against each other and smear people's names to get their version of reality validated. They will hoover somebody back into their games. Whether you are the narcissist, partner, parent, child, friend, co-worker, family member, you are just a chess piece in their games for them to bring in as and when they need you and discard you when they don't. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm as sure this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic Individuals if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries they will also be in the description if you'd like to go and check them out go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye